Hello, everyone. I believe, let me say it in this way, you may want a beautiful wife. You may want a handsome husband. And I don't think there is anything wrong with that. But let me say this. If you intend to live for Jesus Christ, and I think even if you don't, I think many people in the end will care about personality. For instance, what good is that husband or wife if you are arguing all the time? I mean, what good is that beautiful and or handsome wife? What good is that beautiful <laughs> husband or wife if you are arguing all the time? What good is that beautiful husband or wife if they are mistreating you, abusing you, lying to you? cheating on you, doing all types of, I guess I can say, damaging things to you. Like, what good is their beauty then? I guess with a beautiful spouse, I guess you can go around and brag to people, hey, my wife, is so beautiful my hands my husband is so handsome you may be able to brag about it you know maybe for a while you may be what is a good word i can't really think of a good word you may be i guess dazed <laughs> by their beauty But how is life going to be with them? That is what you have to, that is what you have to look at higher than how they look. I am trying to tell you. Now, if you want to sin, if you just want to fornicate and pass to the next person, okay. Just care about the looks only. You are handsome. You are pretty. I want to sleep with you. Boom, boom, bang, bang. See you later. On to the next one. If you want to do something like that, which it is wrong, only care about the beauty then. But if you want something with depth, which we all should want that, I believe you need to care about more than just that. Find a person with maturity. And you may say, well, uh, an older man or an older woman will have maturity. And I don't think that is always the case. I believe there are older people who are very immature. There are probably people in their 40s and 50s and 60s that are still immature. So I don't think you can always go by age. I don't believe you can. And maybe one of the ways you can view their maturity is by the way they speak and act. Perhaps, because some people are very good manipulators and liars and stuff like that. So ultimately, I believe you will have to go to God with it. Trust me. I believe you will care more about the personality than the looks. So if you see 
men out there. Let me start with the men because I don't want women to think I am picking on them. So if you see a man with flashy things, not to say this is always the case, not to say this is always the case. If you see a man with very flashy things, a man who is showing their body, you know, in muscle shirts and showing the abs and their muscles and stuff like that, chances are you may want to stay away from that person. If you see a woman, so I spoke about the men first, so you can't say I am picking or singling out women. So if you see women halfway dressed, showing their behind, I don't know why some women do that. Like if you go on Facebook, <laughs> some women have their back turned showing their behind. I guess their behind, in a sense, is their worth, which is whatever. So if you see women showing their behinds, showing themselves in revealing clothes, all this makeup on, not in every case, of course. This may not be true in every case. With all that makeup on, looking really flashy, chances are you may want to stay away from that person. I believe when it comes down to men and women, if they look a bit too flashy, you may want to stay away from them. I believe in some cases, I'm not saying this is true to every case, but I believe in many cases that flashiness is a distraction. Hey, don't look at me. Look at my butt. Don't look at me. Look at my breasts. Don't look at me. Look at my nice car. Don't look at me. Look at what I have. So I believe much of that flashiness is a distraction. Don't look at my personality because if you do, you are not going to like me. <laughs> you will see that I am shallow, narcissistic, mind issues um what else you'll see that i am a very bad person to be with so since i don't want you to see my personality look at my butt look at my breast look at my car look at all these other things but don't look into me i hope this makes sense so I believe when it comes down to women and men, I'm not saying in every case that flashiness, that showing of the behind, the showing of the breast, the showing of the nice cars and muscle shirts and all that mess like that, I believe is a distraction. Please listen to what I am saying. Go for that dorky girl, woman, let me say woman. Go for that dorky woman, the one who likes to read books, the one who doesn't really put on makeup. Go for that nerdy guy, the one who doesn't dress too well, that may not match as well. The one who is genuine, not saying that is the case for all of them. Please understand what I am saying. Stop going for flashiness. Because I tell you this, if you go for flashiness, I believe it has a price. That man that wants to look all flashy, chances are, I'm not saying in every case, but chances are that man probably know like, hey, this woman is probably trying to get with me 
for what I have. So because she is like that, I am going to use that woman. I'm going to use that woman as much as I can because she is trying to use me, but I am going to use her first. With some women that be showing, you know, wearing those revealing, when I say show their behind and breasts and stuff like that, I mean like wearing revealing clothes and stuff like that. I believe with many of those women, they know that you are trying to get with them, possibly because of their body. So they may think inside of their mind, well, this man only wants sex. So before I give him sex, I am going to take his money. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use him before he uses me. Ah, oh, my Lord. Do you understand what I am saying? So stuff like that, I believe, has a price. You don't have to pay the price. Go for normal looking people. And I guess in some cases, some of them may be messed up too. But go for normal looking people. Stop looking at these really flashy men and women. Now, are there some women and men who look flashy that are good? Possibly. But in my opinion, it's better for you to stay away. In my opinion. Think of the most beautiful woman in the world. Think of the most handsome man in the world, okay. Now, let's say you get with them and they treat you like trash. Do you still want to be with them? Let's say they have no good for you in mind. Do you want to be with them because they look good? If you say yes, your self-esteem must be messed up or maybe you don't have self-worth, perhaps. I believe if you go by the guidelines I am telling you of, I think you will have better luck in finding a better woman or a better man. That flashiness, I'm trying to tell you, you need to stay away from it. Go for ordinary looking people. Ordinary. Yes, that woman may not perm her hair. She may not have these I guess I can say exotic clothes and not exotic, but she may not have like very good looking hairstyles and clothes and stuff like that, but she is probably stable. She is probably not on drugs. She probably has less issues. Probably some of those women and men who look very flashy probably have all types of um, disorders. Maybe have all types of problems. But how would you know? Because if you are so infatuated or so dazed by their flashiness, like how will you know until it is too late? This is a very important video. I think many people, oh, please listen to what I am saying. I think many people continue to run into uh, quite a bit of bad men or quite a bit of bad women because probably they have not learned from their mistakes. You may have in mind what is your type, 
but what is your type is probably your problem. Probably your type is no good to be with. I hope this is making sense to you. Probably the type of woman you want to be with, probably the type of man you want to be with is no good to be with. So, in essence, what do you have to do? You have to change your type. Hey, usually I will not saying myself. So when I speak in this way, it is like an example. So usually I would pick women who look like whores, but because I know better now, let me get that dorky woman or for the woman. Usually I would go for men who drives these nice cars and get there, you know, they are looking so flashy, but now I know better. I am going for that somewhat awkward <laughs> guy. Yes, that man may be awkward, but he is stable. Like, he doesn't have very high pride. He's not conceited. He is not going to mistreat me. Yes, he may not know too much about how to make a woman smile. He may not know too much about, uh, you know, this and that about a woman, but he can be taught. Stop going for these players. Players as these men and women who change person to person. I mean, how can I say this? Some people may know what I mean, but I want to say it in a way to where more people can know what I mean. Stop going for these people who will use you and plan not to stay with you. For instance, if it is a man, some men may get a woman not so much to stay with her for, for a very long time, but be with her and be and be with her and be with her and be with her. Some women may get some men not so much to stay with them forever, but to have multiple people and like a rotation, I guess. Not so much a rotation like, I'm with you, okay, I have another one, I have another one, so I don't want to be with you. Like, constantly changing to different people, if I am using the right word for it. Stop being with people who don't really want to stay with you. People who want to be with multiple people. Players. So if you, I don't want to continue repeating myself, but stay away from flashiness. Let me stop here. God bless you.